Zane is the newest four star focus unit from the 2020 Halloween banner. He has a unique weapon called Joker's Wild that basically lets him copy the highest set of an ally within two spaces. He gets in combat boost to match whatever set is the highest and I wanted to show some examples of what is going on to make things clearer. First off you need to know that Zane will copy all the stats of an ally within two spaces and that includes stats lower than his own base stats. Here I have Zane in my one star Subaki. You can see from the damage preview window that Zane is getting massive in combat debuffs and this is because he's matching Subaki's stats. From some simple maths, we can see that Zane is indeed copying his stat line. 44 attack minus 34 gets us 10 attack. 37 speed minus 30 gets us 7 speed. 22 defense minus 15 gets us 7 defense. Then 30 res minus 27 gets us 3 res. The same thing is happening when Zane copies stats higher than his own. Here's my super beefed up Erica with Fury and a defense plus 2 seal to get some nice even numbers. Zane's 44 attack plus 10 gets us 54 attack. 37 plus 13 gets us 50 speed. 22 plus 18 gets us 40 defense and then 30 plus 10 gets us 40 res. Now, I moved female Robin within Zane's 2 space range. Because this level 1 Robin doesn't have more stats than Erica, nothing changes here. Zane only copies the highest stat from his nearby allies. Last, field buffs do indeed count toward Joker's Wild. Here I gave Erica plus 6 field buffs to all stats thanks to Seth. You can see that in game we basically just added plus 6 to all of our stats from the last example. 44 attack plus 16 now gets us 60 attack and so on and so forth. Joker's Wild uses the visible on the field stats for Zane's allies, so that's going to include debuffs as well. If Erica had a minus 7 attack debuff on her, Zane would also lose out on 7 attack. To close out this video, here's a run of Zane against Infernal Ranoff and Leith. Now, people have done level 1 clears of this Zane on this map, which just showcases how crazy this weapon is. The only stat that matters is his HP stat, as long as Zane has an ally within two spaces. I have Erica for high speed, Gatry supplying the high defense and resistance, and and then I have Brave Edo Guard with the super optimal life and death 2 and attack plus 3 seal to give Zane 70 plus attack. Like I mentioned in my banner video, Zane will probably be really fun at close counter. He will be a very interesting unit to come up against and if you do see him in PvP modes or whatever, then you better start breaking out the calculator. That's all I got to say, please enjoy the rest of this footage and I'll see you guys soon. Hope you've got a plan. Tread carefully. I smell sweets. Boom! The choice is clear. Got a plan. I smell sweets. Woohoo! <laughs> 